what he's allowed is everyone to talk. Everyone. Yeah. And if you don't think that that's good, you're very short-sighted. And you don't understand human beings. Like, you cannot have human beings censored because someone is going to be in power and they're going to take advantage of that censorship. They're not different than us. Exactly. They're not these incredibly benevolent beings who just want everything to work out well. No, they're people. Yeah. And a lot of them are dirty, dirty people. Dirty, corrupt people that went to ditty parties. Rise. What's going on, Rise family? It's your boy, Jaya in the building, man. I know it's been a minute. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Hit that notification bell, man. It's 21 days until the election, y'all. Can y'all believe this? There's been so much madness going on in America. America is divided. America needs a leader who's going to bring peace and restoration and strength and power and dignity, you know, back into the world, you know, economy. And I know for a fact Kamala, Kamala, Comrade Kamala ain't it, man. And I'm going to show you this little clip that I saw today that was very, very powerful. Obviously, we know that Kamala Harris is someone who is so far left. She changes her accents like I change my diets. I'm never consistent. And you all have us win in 2020 and we're gonna do it again in 2024 yes we will yes we will have you no empathy man yes. you know for the the suffering of other people have you no sense of purpose huh? thank unions every day for the five-day work week government we campaign with the plan uppercase t uppercase p the plan and then the environment is such that we're expected to defend the plan even when the first time we roll it out there may be some glitches and it's time to reevaluate and then do it again and her father Seville. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, I love you back. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what she does. She's Spanish one day. She's black another day. She's white the next day. She's this, she's that. She's so unstable. I just cannot stand her. And, and, and you know, as a Christian man, you know, I can't be saying that. So father, forgive me. But let me show you this clip about her saying that she will allow transgender, you know, surgeries for inmates, prisoners, and immigrants. It's just, like, is this, are we living in real life, y'all? Check this video out, man. This this makes absolutely no sense to me, y'all. Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. Hell no, I don't want my taxpayer dollars going I, to that. Kamala supports transgender sex changes in jail with our money. Kamala even supports letting biological men compete against our girls in their sports. Kamala is for they them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. <laughs> is this a dream? How could we put somebody in office who is so far left, somebody who acknowledges that, you know, women, biological women should compete against biological men. That should, if you're a Christian, that should be the check. Like I am voting for you. 
Then another one saying that it's okay to get taxpayer dollars, right, to pay for inmates. What about our roads? What about them rinky-dink potholes that you drive every day on your way to work that your tax-paying dollars should be paying for, yet it's going over there to transgender surgery, money's going to Ukraine, we know what happened with Hurricane Milton and Hurricane Helene, it's just been absolutely a disaster and you know kamala harris is talking about how trump is gonna you know use the military against his civilians like what my man's has been a president he's been a president already like the american people are waking up they're the most racist people that i've ever seen the far left they make everything about race not about policy not about establishing you know an economy that's going to be good for your children for you know for your future generation they they talking about gender surgery they're talking about abortions. They're talking about emotions. They're talking about they, them. They're not talking about securing the border. They're not worried about our pockets and the peace of the American people. They want a dictatorship. In my opinion, obviously, because I'm a Christian, we know where this all leads to. And I believe that they're a part of that establishment, that that party that wants that one world government. Uh, I want to show you this clip with Joe Rogan as well, you know, speaking about how it, Trump and Elon Musk are such a threat, you know, to the far left. They they're panicking. And, you know, Trump is going to go on Joe Rogan's podcast and they know the world is going to watch that one. But let me show you all this clip with Joe Rogan speaking about Trump and Elon Musk. It's weird because, you know, it's supposed to be the will of the people. It's supposed to be the government works for the people. And it's not that. It's, uh, it's some very bizarre, enormous amount of money that's being spent to make sure that the people in power continue to run things the exact same way. That's what I think they're really terrified about Trump. It's not necessarily even that he's a Republican. It's much more that he's a guy that is not going to play the game. Yeah. And then when he gets in there, he's going to tr like one of the things that he's talked about is having Elon come in and do some sort of a government efficiency agency. They're terrified of that. Yeah. Because it's not efficient. Yeah. You know? And he's going to come in with like that Tesla mindset. It's like you're working 16 hours a day and you're sleeping on the fucking couch. Yeah. We're here to get some shit done. And you try applying that to government. That's, you know. Yeah. I shaved. What did he shave? Like 80% of the staff off Twitter? Oh, yeah. When he got it? Yeah. He was like, what's going uh, What the fuck are you people doing? Why do you have so many people working here doing nothing? Yeah. 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 And he was right. Yeah. He was right. Especially if you don't want to censor people. Like, it's it's interesting how people react to it that he's ruined Twitter, he's destroyed Twitter. No, he's he's you could still block these crazy people if you want. You could still not see them if you want. Yeah. But what he's allowed is everyone to talk. Everyone. Yeah. And if you don't think that that's good, you're very short-sighted. And you don't understand human beings. Like you cannot have human beings censored. Because someone is going to be in power and they're going to take advantage of that censorship. They're not different than us. Exactly. They're not these incredibly benevolent beings who just want everything to work out well. No, they're people. Yeah. And a lot of them are dirty, dirty people. Dirty, corrupt people that went to ditty parties. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's, it's, That's right. it's that control what they say, control what they think. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Right on the money. These people are corrupt, y'all. These people don't care about us. Honestly, bro, they, they don't care about us. They want control. They want power. Kamala Harris has openly spoken about censorship, about people speaking certain things that don't fit the agenda. You know, Donald Trump just got on the Nelk Boys for the third time, and he spoke about how they're trying to censor the free speech, the the voice of the opposition, right? We, we're living in a crazy time right now, and this is why, you know, they're afraid of Donald Trump because— for four more years, at least four years, it stalls their plans, right? And I'm praying that God uses this to bring unity and to bring clarity and understanding to the American people because if not, this nation could get swept right up under us. See, the Bible says that the devil disguises himself as an angel of light, so he will make you feel so good and say all the right things, but secretly, he's plotting our demise. And that's exactly what's taking place. And we need to vote 21 more days. Make sure that you're registered to vote. Don't put this off, America. You need to vote. And you need to vote for Trump. In my humble opinion, he isn't the perfect person. But he's the best shot that we got in this nation to get us back on the right course. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know your comments down below. And I appreciate you lending me an ear to listen today. Shout out to y'all, man. God bless y'all. Rise. Peace out.
Right?